Ah. Mm. 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 No, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Morning, guys and gals. I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pikmin 4. Today's gonna be a little bit weird. And by, actually, by today, for the first time, I mean this episode. Normally in Pikmin, I correct myself and say, it, and talk about them in terms of, of days, but we're going to be packing two days into one. And we're starting beelining it for Colin. Yeah, you can already tell something's a little bit weird. All systems are go. The SS Bagel is ready for takeoff. And I'm ready to take off with it. We're going to start by going back to the blossoming Arcadia. Why? Well, we're going to round it out. But that isn't going to be all we're doing today. Let's go. Oh, whoa, 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 I almost made a crucial, crucial mistake. Hold up. First, we gotta talk to Russ. I developed a new prototype with the materials I had on hand. You should see it with your eyes. We have the same glasses, you and me. Is it possible that we are related? Okay. Uh, tough stuff plus... Cool. Cool. That's that's all fine and dandy. What I want are bomb rocks. Five of them. And then we're going to be going to the blossoming Arcadia to wrap up that loose end. If you recall, we only had one more thing to do there, and it was stuck behind a bombable wall. So, we're going to be going back there, cleaning that up, and then we're going to be doing something else in this episode, because I don't want to spend the full day there. In the past, I would dedicate the entire episode towards that day, and I would probably farm up some Pikmin. But that's not what I'm do going to be doing here. Instead, we're going to be completing the, the Dandori challenge, and then ending the day. We're not going to be tarrying, uh, mainly because now, un unlike before, with Pikmin 2, Pikmin 1, or even Pikmin 3, there are challenges that we can do that really don't, shouldn't be taking up a full episode, and that is the night challenges. So we're going to spend half the episode in the day and half of it at night, and it will probably be the length of a normal day. Blossoming Arcadia. Let's, uh, Hello? I don't even... Oh, she's twitching his nose. What? Bushy. What? What? Hold up. Command. I know I can... I know I can use my... Uh, sure. I, I know I can use my gauge, but I, I didn't even think about that. I haven't been watching it like I should. Ochi, go, 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 go. Find, find me, find me treasure. Go. What did I miss? Food. And do I need blue Pikmin for it? I just realized that I'm probably going to have to go back. Uh, let's, let's hope. I, man, I, that, that's another thing that I could have just glossed over and missed. I would have had to come back here for this, for a, a loose end like that. He found it. What did he find? What? Ochi? What? What is it? It's, is it up there? Do I need yellows for that? Can I jump up there? Actually, it almost looks like I could. I, I wonder... I wonder what the speedruns of this game look like already. Because with the ability to jump, that just opens up a world of abuse. That I really haven't been thinking about until just now. Uh, so let's... Put the reds away. Let's take out blues and yellows just in case. Just in case. Reds, I don't think, are going to be doing us any favors. Now we're going to go out and find some treasure. Again, I... Man, that that was almost really bad. I, I just forgot about the fact... Because I don't have white Pikmin. Because I don't have white Pikmin, I forget that treasure can just be buried. Uh, you guys go ahead and do that. And then I guess I throw Pikmin up there? Sure enough! That's so weird to me. I don't... Not a fan of that. 
I'm really not. That's the one of the only things. I think one of the only two things in this entire game that I don't like. Also, I don't know what they. Oh, they grabbed plastic. Is that it? Because now, now they have me guessing. That my treasure gauge is still going. Ochi. Sniff out treasure again. Is there anything? Nope. Nope, there isn't. Well, that's a good sign, I guess. But once we're out of this this cave, then I should probably do a, a more thorough checkup on this area. Because it's still going. And last I remember, there wasn't... Yeah, there wasn't any treasure that I missed, per se. Okay, well, that's that's just gonna be ha going to have to be something that I... I check. Let's, however, go to the Dendori Cave, which I actually don't remember where it is. I probably should have, like, placed a beacon on it. There we go. Man, beacons are such a great mechanic. In case you don't know where they debuted, um, and maybe I don't, but uh, the first time I ever remember seeing that mechanic was The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, which is one of my favorite games of all time. Wow, we were one bomb short. That's... That's upsetting, to say the least. That's very upsetting. Hey, there's another one. It has eyes like a cat. Dan... Dan Dory anytime. Dan Dory anywhere. Dan Dory over and over again. Man, <laughs> I... Oh. <clears throat> that isn't the pilot, Jeff. But uh, there's still a castaway, Jeff. You better go rescue him, Jeff. Do it for me. I mean, I, I mean, Dingo. Jump in there, Jeff. Are you a coward? Ah! <laughs> oh, wait. We, I don't care what I enter with, because I'm going to be getting new Pikmin regardless. Rockaway Cellars, Dendori Level 2. Heavy things have more value, but heavy is hard to carry. It is important how you carry. That is where you show your worth. <laughs> I love the <laughs> the Dendori voice. Oh my word. You have you have no idea. Okay, what what are we doing here? Um, da eh? I didn't mean to sick you on it, Ochi, but I will. And I can walk on this. Okay, not too not too difficult. Uh, let's sick them on the gold for now, because they'll make they'll get that done in three trips, and then I'll see. I'm going to go for. I'm gonna go for full completion here. Because I, I think it's possible. All too often, I've been... I've been ignoring... Uh, I've been ignoring the beasts and then having to clean it up later. And I think I can... I think I can have my cake and eat it too. Uh, okay, so they're doing that. I don't think I can defeat you. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Get that done. Fight him. Fight him. You can take a little bit of damage. I made you tough. Okay. Good. They're done with that. Sick them on that. Sick them on that. Well, there's supposedly rock Pikmin in here that I need to... I need to be cognizant of. Let's... Charge up. Kill. 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 Yeah. Okay, that can be dealt with. So maybe I just... Ah, that's exactly why I need it. I was going to say, ignore it for now. You deal with that. That loops around, so we're fine on on that. Can I throw them up there? No. I, oh, wait, 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 wait. It's been a little bit since I've recorded, so I'm forgetting some basic things, but it's, it's coming back to me. Thankfully, Pikmin is one of the things I have, like, the most muscle memory for of anything in my life. Sure, Ochi, you can do that. Uh, you're gonna have to deal with that. I'd rather have quite a few Pikmin focus on this just to get it done. 
I have the rock, Pikmin. We'll work on the- have them work on the eggplant door. You're back with me. Uh, I need to have- be using you to your full- your full strength, so... Okay, that is a way I can go. Get them working on that. Oh, hi? Wait. Uh, what? I don't know if this is worth it. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. I think it is. Come on, one more, one more. Got it, okay. That's, that's not bad. Now, they, they do that. I get a bomb rock, which I think is unique to this, this dungeon. They're still working on that. Uh, I have a couple idle Pikmin here, and some here. That Ochi, I hate when you do that. You know I hate when you do when you do that. Uh, they'll deal on deal with that. I probably should have the rock Pikmin with me. There are many different directions we can go here, um, and I'm starting to spread myself very thin. So I think what I need to do is work on completing one area. Okay, good, good, good. This is perfect. Ochi, you get that. It only weighs five. That's kind of difficult to believe. Okay, that's done. That's very good. Let's get that going. Also, I can cancel their their little animation early. Uh, go. His back is to me. That's flawless. I have a lot more Pikmin now, and I I have a lot of rocks, so I I should probably be holding. I honestly need to split that that pretty evenly. You, Ochi, grab that. One, two, three, one, two, three. Because I feel like rock Pikmin aren't good at dealing with dirt gates. I'm not sure of the, the validity behind that statement, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. And so I need to be I need to be splitting my forces. Okay, you guy, you're gonna flip. Ooh, I wonder if Rock Pikmin could deal with that. Cause he is rock. That's decent damage. Okay, that's that's a way I can harm him. While he is, uh, he's, he's flipped the, the other way. Okay. That, okay, that's really good to know. He could have killed my Pikmin there, and there's nothing I could have done about it. So I need to remember that. You guys get that. Ochi, you get that. He locked onto that kind of weird... We're, we're making progress. Uh, I have Rock Pikmin, so let's tackle this. I probably should have thrown them, but that's fine. Um, you guys deal with that, because it's going to be done by the time these guys are done. I think I'll probably just kill him outright. Oh, they're immune to crushing! I need to remember that. They're immune to crushing. Not like I forgot, really. I just... I didn't forget, because that implies, like, I forgot. It's just something that's easy to take for granted. This is good stuff, good stuff. Okay. Uh, Ochi. You, I need your charge. To knock that loose. And then... You take that. You guys take this. You take that. And then... Is that it? Is that everything? Hold up, do we have a map? Is that legitimately everything? Did I just crush this? I think I did. I got every enemy. I have every gold piece. I'm only... I, I have gold... Uh, the gold medal. Let's... I don't know what that little transfer symbol is. Oh, that's the... Gay? No, oh, I, I platinumed it. That was... That was peasy. That was easy peasy. I, I kept expecting there to be something I forgot, but I just got everything. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that, that's like... A, a, that, that level of difficulty merits a shrug, because I really didn't feel the pressure. It just... I just did it. So incredible. I feel dizzy. Then 30 pieces of... Plastic is your reward. <laughs> I, I'm really going ham on the voices. <laughs> you did it. Come on, let's get the castaway out of here. I actually, I, I've mentioned how I use a lot of voices I use for D and D in, uh, in this. Oh wait, 
With all that leaf growth, there's no way to tell who this is. But it doesn't matter. It is our job to rescue them and keep them away from Colin. We don't want them finding their way back inside that cave, so let's keep it locked away, just like we'll keep them locked away from Colin. Okay, you get that. I, I was saying, I, I do a lot of different voices for D&D, &D, and I implement... And I use a lot of them in... Like, there's a lot of cro crisscross between... Um, between D and D and Pikmin, and just the, my let's plays in general. Like one of my favorite voices I ever used uh, for Flint Cragley in Super pa the Super Paper Mario LP. Uh, he sounded like <coughs> he sounded like like this, and he was very much like a car salesman, a Jimmy Stewart crossed with John Wayne. And I ended up using that for one of my favorite characters I've played, Lee Varin, who is a secretly psychic detective. So he pretended like he wasn't psychic, but he was actually psychic. And with these guys, I voice all the leaflings like I've, I voice mind flayers in my session. And it's, it's really... <laughs> I wish you guys could see my face, because I tense up every muscle in it, and it's very... It's very much, like, in the top of my throat. It's, it's such a... <laughs> it's... it's I kind of wish I had a face cam sometimes. If if only I could check the Leafling's ID info, maybe this time will work. Nope, it doesn't work, although I do think it's just a cat. Hello. Nope. Hmm. I explored 100% of the area! I did it! Neato! Okay, what are we, what are we doing next? Because we're not... We're not entirely... Wait, I forget. How do you jump? How do you... Oh, it's X. I don't know why I, I forgot that. Yeah, so normally, I, I would sp I would dedicate the rest of the day to getting... What? Why did they just jump back out? I would dedicate the rest of the, the day towards getting resources and building up our population, but I would like to instead just end the day. I I'm gonna grab stuff that's around just to get it out. Like, just, why not, you know? Why not? But then... Then we're going to be ending the day and, and entering the night. So, you guys deal with this. I might, in fact, just cut it out uh, and move the base here. Yeah, so we're just gonna we're just gonna grab a couple of resources here, just a few, just just a couple, and then uh, and then we'll be done. Is the creeping chrysanthemum alive? I don't think it is. Just an unmarked spectral lid. Yeah, that's it. We'll we'll call that we'll call that a day. Sweet. Is there a way? Let's, let's check our, our Pikmin po uh, population. We need ice Pikmin, but we don't have an ice onion yet, so we we really have to settle for caves. We haven't lost any. That's good. Okay. You guys get this back, and... Blossoming Arcadia is solidly trounced. How do I end the day? I haven't done that yet. End day? Yes! Yeah, pup drive. Yeah, a mooching base. Investigation complete. A hundred percent completion on the blossoming Arcadia. So this is ultra spicy nectar. With a color like that, it looks even spicier. It is the main ingredient in ultra spicy spray, after all. Want to try... A lick? Hmm. Oh, why not? If only for quality control purposes, I wouldn't want to provide my rescue officers with a faulty product. Now let's just give it a try. Mm -hmm. 
Ha wa wa ha hu ha pa wa wa ha ha. Yes, it is pretty spicy. I'm glad that I wasn't the one who licked it. But look how fast you're moving. Just think, with this, you could get qu twice the amount of work done in half the time. Aww. Hmm. Per 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 perhaps. But I think ingesting this nectar directly poses some significant risk. Now, we're all going to pretend like this didn't happen at night, and that I'm just going to be spending the night of this day in another area. So let's just let's just imagine it. We're, we're just pretending. We're just pretending. <laughs> 